Action. I'm excited to do this video. I don't know, it's just crazy to think that I've been on YouTube for nine months. Thank you guys for being here and watching my videos. It just means so much to me. I love being here and I love helping and I just appreciate every single one of you. So if I don't say that to you enough, I appreciate you and thank you so much for being here. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Melissa and I'm really happy you're here. For today's video, I thought it would be a really fun idea if I did some plant updates with you guys. So I've been on YouTube for nine months and my very first plant was a Monstera Thai constellation that I repotted and I will run through videos I've done on my channel and any plants that I have repotted or talked about. I will kind of show you where they're at now and how they're doing. They could either be doing good or bad. <laughs> so let's start with number one my Monstera Thai constellation. So Monstera Thai constellation was my first video on how to pot it up and at that time I think it only had this little leaf and this leaf. I can't I can't remember how many leaves it has but this is the newest leaf. Look at how beautiful it is and I love this plant so much. So this was started from a very tiny node and it has grown all this in my care which makes me very happy and proud. I can't remember what pot I put it in in the video. It might have been this is like a, a recycled pickle container and I drilled some extra holes for airflow. It was important for me to have it in a clear pot so I could monitor the roots because Monstera Thai is very notorious for getting root rot. Yeah, I just wanted to be able to keep an eye on this plant and watch it grow. I'm gonna have to stake him soon because he's a little wobbly. But yeah, I love Monstera Thai Constellation. This newest leaf is beautiful. It's been growing pretty steadily and I feel like I'm definitely going to get a new leaf probably if not by the end of the month then beginning of next month. I feel like a new leaf is probably going to come in the next few weeks. These three here have been in the last like three months since I've moved in so yeah, it's been very happy here and it loves it here. Next up is a repot that I did back in November, I believe on my channel. And I showed this one recently in my July houseplant favorites and it has unfurled actually two more leaves since that video. And this is my beautiful Calathea orbifolia. Look at how huge it is, you guys. And these are the two leaves it just unfurled, these two here. I don't think there's any more new growth right now, but this plant has been thriving here in my environment. It just absolutely loves it, which makes me so happy. This plant went through a severe shock after that repot. It did have like netting that I removed and I combined two plants from Lowe's and actually one of the vines like almost all the leaves like completely died. I had so much browning and it was just like unhappy for a really long time. But after winter was over with, I kept this plant in really like, I tried to give this plant the best humidity I could. I had it right by a humidifier all winter and it did get somewhat cold like in the six, like upper 60s during winter in our home sometimes. So I think it was just like a combination of like shock and it just being winter. Since I did repot this plant before winter, it did go under shock, but it has slowly grown back beautiful I still get brown crispy tips on mine it just is going to happen regardless but I love this plant I'm really glad it's happy and it's big and it's beautiful and definitely one of my favorite calatheas next up I put a philodendron micans plant on how to make a moss pole video I recently talked about this plant too so I'll just kind of show you where he's at in the spot and it's grown so much and it's definitely one of my favorite plants and a favorite moss poles it's taken what almost eight, nine months to look how it looks now. So it's definitely been a journey and you guys may have known I took some top cuts to start a new pole. The new growth is definitely slow to push out. It hasn't really done too much yet since I recently talked about it, but I'll just show you them again real quick. So here they go. This is the original moss pole from that video. It has grown so much. I think like from here up has all been new and then there's like probably three to four new vines that have since grown grown since I did that video. Since I chopped, you guys can see where it's starting to grow back here and on the other side it is as well. The new pole you can see is barely starting to grow and unfurl. It's just taking a bit to situate in the pot and kind of focus on its root system. These leaves are just undeniably just so beautiful. So excited to watch it continue growing. For these next ones, I was going to take you to the window, but it's just so backlit and so bright. So I will bring these here. So this is my Monster Aria that I did in that repot video. 
If you notice these white bags on my plants, they are beneficial mites. I am treating for thrips and I'm finding them on all sorts of plants. I don't, I think the main source came from my cabinet. Yeah, I don't know. Off topic, but yes, this has grown so much since that video. And I can't remember exactly which albo that I repotted in that video. It has grown four leaves in that time. So I'll briefly show you the albo from that video. So that's the plant and it grew four leaves here. I recently chopped this one. So yes, but very happy since that video. I just love all Monsteras. I just, they're my favorite. <laughs> I did talk about my pink princess and care in a video and my pink princess that grew all pink leaves, I have completely chopped back. I have like parts of it in my cabinet behind me and I'm like slowly trying to regrow it. And then thrips attacked my cabinet and the props are like slowly not doing well so we'll see how they do but this is my other pink princess from that video it actually lost like four or five bottom leaves i think over the course of the last couple months i think it was just maybe moving stress very lucky to have a pink princess with so much pink and yeah i cannot wait for it to grow and get bigger i'm just glad that the leaves stopped yellowing <laughs> next up is my calathea medallion you guys may have seen this plant from a repot video i did as well and i have lots of new growth coming in it had like two like bigger leaves and those kind of yellowed and died and then i just recently upsized it as well because it was getting pretty root bound but it has grown so much and i love calathea so i'm really happy to see it growing and it kind of thriving. I have lots of new leaves coming in since I repotted it. It was so root bound. So it should be a lot happier having more room to grow. So I'm expecting this plant to get a lot bigger with the new growth coming in here. It's been doing really well since that repot video. Next up is my pilea. I talked about this plant a couple times on my channel and this is what it looks like now. It took a bit of a hit after moving. I lost a lot of leaves here on the main stem. I feel like it's not quite happy getting enough light. I feel like it was growing better when I did that care video because it got like more direct sun because of the rainy season here it stays cloudy a lot of the time so I feel like this plant doesn't get as much light as I would like it to it is giving me tons of babies in there I don't know if you can see all these little babies so it is very happy pushing lots of new growth. I'm just gonna let it grow and get wild and crazy and just see how it does. <laughs> this is my Philodendron El Choco Red. You may notice this plant from a repot that I did and this is the newest leaf and isn't it gorgeous, you guys? This plant is so much happier. It has given me three new leaves since moving and they're all so beautiful because it was down to just this one leaf. I repotted it in a video I did about five months ago before I moved in the old house. It was like what was going on with my plants. It was this one and I did it with the Monstera Peru. I will say the Monstera Peru is like completely gone almost. I cut it back and one leaf grew back. It's currently my cabinet and then thrips happened. That leaf totally browned so I cut it off. So now it's just down to like a stub just like that. So my Monstera Peru is still going downhill. My variegated one but this one is thriving since that video. So I'm hoping my variegated Peru comes back. Honestly I think if thrips didn't attack my cabinet I feel like some of my plants would be doing a lot better in there but yeah it's just down to a stump now. <laughs> this next one is one that I did recently. This is my Philodendron Mamie Eye. I actually have two videos on my channel with this plant. I repotted it into a long pot and then it got sick or something. And so most recently I chopped it completely back. It has one new little leaf here. It's not wanting to focus. There we go. One cute little leaf. And then I have a few other like little nubs in there that are pushing out. And this one's getting ready to push a new leaf too. This little propagation tray with all the others, it'll focus. You can kind of see the new growth in these ones popping out. So these are gonna be growing soon too. And I have the cutest little leaf, so hopefully I continue to get some really good growth. Next up is my Philodendron Gloriosum. And I recently, 
repotted this probably about four months ago. I had repotted it several times because it had root rot and now it is currently being sabotaged by thrips and I found some thrips on here as early as yesterday. Yeah, I have some beneficial mites going to work on this one. Other than that, it is doing better. I had it in my cabinet and I moved it out because it was just overall didn't seem happy and it probably overall didn't seem happy because it probably had thrips and I didn't catch them in time. So yeah, I'm hoping the thrips are gone soon. I do have new growth on each of the leaves here. You can kind of see there's two new growths coming in as well. It's not thriving because of thrips, but overall it is much happier. I repotted it into a different mix and so far so good. Now the thrips just need to go away. <laughs> These planes overhead are just ruining my filming vibe. They're so loud. Literally like the house, like my room is shaking because there's like an air force base not too far from here. There's another one. Oh wow. That was kind of cool. I think we're good. <laughs> Next up, I'll talk about the plants I got from Botanica's. So this is my Monstera Obliqua. It is growing back. So this thing had severe leaf melting. When I unboxed it, it had six leaves. They were all yellowing. It got super stressed trying to acclimate to my home. It only had one original leaf left, which was this one. And this plant came down with thrips as well because it was beside another plant that had thrips. I don't think the thrips really got a hold of this plant too bad. So it has two new leaves from the main vine and then it shot out an extra node and I have two little leaves from that extra node. I was just so worried that it was going to die on me and I just wanted this plant to thrive and I'm really happy it's growing. I do have a new leaf here that's starting and then I think I have a new leaf here that's starting. So I'm going to have two more leaves probably unfurl in the next few weeks. So I'm really excited about that and I'm excited that it's doing better. And then I'll briefly show you my variegated micans. I put this plant on a pole like immediately because I wanted it to climb and attach and you know grow and get big leaves. The leaf shapes are definitely very interesting. It's put out several new leaves since that video and they're definitely an interesting shape and pattern and the variegation and everything. So I did this video three months ago and so I'm imagining it's probably going to take another few months for it to really start climbing and growing. The leaves are sizing up a little bit but it's still going to take several months before I see any kind of like drastic growth. But yeah once it reaches the top I'm going to extend it and hopefully it can continue to grow well for me. So I I repotted my string of pearls and that plant is doing amazing you guys so much new growth and my turtles that I repotted on here as well about a month ago I chopped my Florida Beauty and it's finally growing back I have one top cut and I have three mid cuts and the main stump is growing two growth points. It actually activated two once I chopped it. The two mid cuts in my cabinet actually both got thrips, so they are in the cabinet. One of them, one of the mid cuts does have a new leaf, but it's all green. The other two mid cuts aren't rooted yet. They just have not rooted after a month, still no roots. So I'm just waiting on roots. And then the actual main plant, I will show you. And so what's left of the main plant here, you can see it had just activated two growth points. And you guys, I'm so excited to know if any of these are variegated. I am going to be watching these like a hawk. I think this one might be variegated because it's on the other side of the node. This one here is on part of the, the stem that was growing green. So if I had to guess, I'm going to guess this one is going to be variegated. So fingers crossed. I cannot wait to see these. I should be able to see new growth on this plant. Hopefully in the next two weeks is what I'm thinking, how long it's going to take for them to unfurl two to three weeks. So I'm so excited. <laughs> My Adansonii pole that I chopped and you guys clearly look at all these roots <laughs> that have formed since chopping this plant. And I have several new leaves. It lost several bottom leaves, probably like three. And I have a couple leaves that are still like yellowing a little bit. You can notice slight yellowing. I have a three vines and I have 
I think one, two, yeah, one, two, three leaves came off the other two vines. It's hard to show you. And so this newest leaf here came since I chopped it and then it's working on another new growth here. Yeah, I'm just glad that it stopped yellowing and it's continuing to grow. It overall seems happier. I just feel like this one's probably the one that means the most to me just because it was my first pole chop and it's doing amazing. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's all that I want to show you. I'll just end it on the one that I got from the big box store. It's doing great. It's pushing new growth and so far so good. I have it moved into my plant room. There is a few gnats that have gotten stuck to the back of the sticky trap. Yeah, it's doing well so far and I'm really excited to watch it grow for me. It seems to have handled the acclimation part of just adjusting to my environment. So really excited to watch this one get bigger. I did do my staghorn fern. That one is doing well it's outside still. I haven't really noticed it growing too much. It's basically just there, but it's pretty much the same. And yeah, if there was another plant that you were curious about or you wanted to have an update on, my Syngonium albo, I know that's one that I didn't show you. That one's on a moss pole. Cut up so many individual nodes and I potted it back into another pot, but the one on the pole is growing. It's doing well. That was about five months ago. If there were any others that I forgot or you were curious about, let me know and I can maybe do like another update. And I'm really excited to see these plants continue to grow for me and how they're going to do. I'm just excited to do another update. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all later. Yeah.